Alright, so last reaction video for right about now is Self Harm It's Not For Attention by Blue Life Line. Like I said, this self harm is not for attention. Somehow, a lot of people are going to be saying you're a attention seeker for, you know, pretend that you self-harm or depressed and all that stuff. This is real, and this is reality. People always get, like, sad or depressing. Even though they're not sad, that's fine. But somehow, it's taken too seriously to, like, you know, just try to kill yourself. Like, yeah. Yeah, exactly, but, you know, let me get the point. But right about now, we're going to get into it in 3, 2, 1, go. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to finally be back. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Depression hit me again, anxiety hit me again. But enough is enough. I feel like now that I have a platform where I can actually talk to people, might as well take advantage of it and do something positive and spread a message that can help a lot of people. And that's what I hope to accomplish with this video. So without further ado, welcome to the video. Most of us have probably dealt with depression or some type of it and I want to give my own input. And so here with Michael, it would be the exact same thing because we want to we want people to understand that we're not just talking about this because we think we're above it yeah. or we think we are, I don't know. We're talking about it because we've been through it. Exactly. And we want to give people our input on it. My story starts off with, I, I want to say I, I started feeling depressed after high school. And my first time of feeling depressed was when I was eating Chinese food. It was nighttime, I was in my bed, um, I was watching videos, and then I just looked at the Chinese food I was eating and I know this is going to sound maybe comical to some of you, but it was very, it was a very depressing moment. It was one of my very first depressing moments. And I was like, I was like, is there more to life than this? Um, you know, and I, I was just starting to cry and I, I was like, you know what? I started to shut down and um, I just fell on my bed. I was like, I don't want to listen to no one. I, I, I was even ignoring my little brother and I just fell asleep. And um, the next day I was better, but it was a sort of sadness I never experienced before and I was like that was depression I felt that was depression and I had more episodes after that and am I still dealing with it today um, I'm, de I'm dealing with it in a better way now but I still kind of have some sort of depression because it's just how life is going and what's surrounding me and stuff so yeah that's my first that was my struggle with it my story wasn't an experience it was more of an extension of days where I just felt very very numb. I don't know what I was feeling. I didn't want to go outside anymore, but back then it was insecurities and it was, what's the point? And I was trying to understand life. No one was explaining it to me. So I was trying to understand it. And that's, I think that's when my mind got used to the idea of overthink. And then I went to counseling and it turns out that I was very, very, very depressed. That got worse throughout the years. I tried to commit suicide. I overdosed before. I was hospitalized. I was all these things. And that's kind of my background with depression. I feel like people nowadays feel entitled to be sensitive. Like you have to respect me. The world does not revolve around you. I have my own fair share of people who have been, um, you know, very furious at me for being too insensitive. But that's my way of coping with people dying is making jokes about it, making light. And, and I know a lot of people be like, how can you possibly joke about something that to make you feel be better about it? You should, you know, like how Anthony said, um, that just goes to show how much, you know, sensitive you are. Or like, am I really that, you know, sensitive? Am I really, you know, that weak to where I have yeah. to move away from someone because they're, because I feel so fucking, you know, offended. We understand how serious it is. And that's partly why we are so insensitive towards it. Because we don't want to make a big deal out of it. We want to disarm it from harming us by making it seem not so bad. Not only are you hurting yourself by making yourself weak and making yourself vulnerable to life, but you're taking away help from people that actually need it. 
That's why suicide, anxiety, and depression have so bad reputations because people abuse it. And here is my conclusion. I do not hate anyone who self-arm until you start to rub it in my face, until you start excessively, consecutively, consecutively, I'm constantly just rubbing it in our face just for attention. I know when people are starting to do things for attention, but for those who actually cut and self-arm themselves in private to where no one cannot see or hear them, those are the ones who need actual help. And I wish the spotlight would be shine on them instead of these attention whores on social media. We, we try to get a broad sense of just how depression, self-harming, and just, you know, attention whores are and stuff. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys don't take a lot of things out of context. Believe me, I, me and Anthony, we want the best for everyone. Yeah. We just, we just seeing all these issues popping up, it, it just, it, it's a blockage. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, if you guys want to check me out, I also have a YouTube channel, I am an animator, I am also a rapper, but I try not to do rapping a lot, I just, I do that for a hobby, but animation is my true passion, if you guys want to check me out, it, I have a YouTube channel called Michael the Animator, um, go check it out, I make small animations, I make uh, a show that's called Michael Colin Dick, I make a lot of things on there, so if you guys want to check it out, please do so, I try to be myself, unlike a lot of other YouTubers, and uh, it would really help from your support um, from Anthony's channel and stuff. Um, you don't have to, but this is me. seeker you do this all for attention and all that stuff but no it's not that because I thought I thought you needed my help no I thought you want to help me to make myself feel better but no you just like accuse me and treat me like crap because after all, all day long, I mean all of these years that you never want to help me because you thought I was a bad person, you thought I was doing something wrong, and I don't know, I just feel like, I just feel like you leave me no choice for me to like just end my and my life and never be in this world ever again because if I ever start feel pain then so be it I want to feel pain because it's my right decision it just helps and all that stuff man because I really don't care. Just put me out of my fucking misery. Yeah. So, uh, I think that's going to be it. I don't even know. I hope you all enjoy it. As long as I don't. I would have done the loose world. Uh, I'll see y'all on Monday. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the new year. And, um, this is Kyle Lawson signing out. Peace.